Hello, every devoted Branch Davidian. <laughs> Welcome to the Wonky Angle, where I talk about electronic music, both new and old, and today, I'm, I think this is just going to be the last of these uh, madness brackets. I'm, I don't want to get stuck doing these for a lot longer. I think this is a good stopping point. The, this got a whole bunch of requests for this one. Um, now, I did get a different bracket for Boards of Canada sent to me. I, I think I'll have to link that in the description if anyone feels like doing that. But I didn't want to do that one because I didn't like how the other bracket I was sent separated tracks out by album. As in, like, everything from GeoGaddy was in one bracket and then everything from Music as the Right was in another bracket and it also combined it with EPs, like, like everything from In a Beautiful Place Out in the Country, Sharing Time with everything from Tomorrow's Harvest and everything from High Scores, Sharing Time with GeoGaddy. And I didn't really like this setup because then you would get stuff like... Okay, I pick Alpha and, and Omega, but then that's going to have to go up against Julian Candy, and then that's going to have to go up against 1969, and then that's going to have to go up against everything you do as a balloon, and I'm like, all of that in the same bracket, I'm not sure I can get behind that. So I'm doing this one instead. It's, it's much more randomized. I like that better, personally. Uh, I will link the other bracket in the description in case people still feel like the other setup is more exciting. Though this bracket is also interesting because it also has a whole bunch of uh, combined tracks. Like, entrants in this bracket have two tracks in one. Like, for instance, you got Pokemon Roy G. Biv in the same place down there. And uh, that's going to change things. That is going to affect how this bracket plays out as well. But I'm not going to automatically pick everything that has two tracks because it does matter. Having a, like a, having a track that I think is okay next to a track that I really like, for instance, that's going to weigh it down a little bit. So let's... Uh, Let's just fill out this bracket anyway, let's get this done. Okay, so the top left bracket is first, and that is the orange bracket. Okay, so our first matchup is Happy Cycling versus Telepath and Cold Earth. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Happy Cycling. I mean, I'm... I'm just a warning for you guys, Tomorrow's Harvest got majorly snubbed in this bracket because of my biases towards their other stuff. Corsair versus White Cyclosa, that's another example of such. Corsair has to go... It's gotta go to Corsair, I mean. Not Corsair has to go. Um... And then Telephasic Workshop versus Collapse and Palace Posey. I do very much like Telephasic Workshop, but I don't love it so much that I feel like it outdoes both of the other two tracks together, especially since Palace Posey is one of the best ones from Tomorrow's Harvest. So I picked both of those, Collapse and Palace Posey. Okay, so then Peacock Tail versus In the Annex. Um... I went with Peacock Tail in the Annex is... Mm, it's just kind of an inconsequential interlude from GeoGetty that doesn't do much for me. I got a lot of... I got a whole bunch of people complaining to me about that one, actually. We take our... We bo Boards of Canada fans, we take our 20-second uh, interludes very seriously. In the Annex is not 20 seconds. Uh, but anyway... <laughs> Uh, 6010 versus Ready Let's Go and Music is Math. That was pretty obviously uh, Music is Math. One of the better ones from Geo Getty versus one of the lesser ones from Music as the Right. Had to go Music is Math. And then Hey Saturday Sun versus Gemini. Um, I'm going with Hey Saturday Sun on this one. Gemini, it's cool it's a good intro to tomorrow's harvest one of the one of the ones that i remember most easily but hey saturday sun is just production on that track is just phenomenal so yeah gotta go to that one 
And ooh, Diving Station versus Rue the Whirl. Diving Station is one of those, like, short interludes that if it were placed somewhere else on the bracket up against something like, I don't know, this went up against, like, one of the lesser tracks from, like, Campfire Head Phase or one of the bigger tracks from Tomorrow's Harvest, I might have picked Diving Station. But I still ended up going Rue the World on this one. I, I like Diving Station a lot. It's one of the best interludes from GeoGaddy, but going Rue the World on this one. That's a classic track for me. It's like right in between my two favorite tracks on Music Has the Right. Listen to that one all the time. And then, okay, Sherbert Head versus The Devil is in the Details and A is to B as B is to C. Mm. Gonna go with uh, the latter. As a side note, I'm not taking this bracket super seriously. I mean, there were a couple that I, I just had, I want to be able to do this in one night, so just wanted to get this out of the way. <laughs> Didn't want this to be, like, the perfect brackets. There's just whatever. Uh, so going on from there. Um, finishing up the orange bracket. Happy Cycling beat Corsair. Um, Peacock Tail beat Collapse and Palace Posey. Just a nice, very nice chill track from Campfire Head Phase there. Um, music is Math beats Hey Saturday Sun. Uh, Rue the World beats Devils in the Details, and A is to B is B is to C. Uh, that, the latter, I mean, I guess that's two of the, like, you got one of the more memorable uh, tracks from GeoGaddy, and one of the most interesting interludes, but Rue the World is great. <laughs> Not much else to say there. Um, yeah, and music has the right sweep in this one. Happy Cycling beats Peacock Tail, and Rue the World beats music as math. And uh, to close out the bracket, I went with Happy Cycling. So, yeah, that's our orange bracket. That's fun. So moving on from there. Now for the I Love You bracket. Okay, uh, let's see here. Um, ooh. Farewell Fire versus the Smallest Weird Number. I think some people may remember from my review of Campfire Head Face that a good chunk of that review was a rant on Farewell Fire and how I think that track just killed the atmosphere of what Campfire Head Face was going for elsewhere. I'm not a huge fan, but it also, Small Weird Number is one of the short interludes. It's one of the good short interludes, but it's just a short interlude. I guess quality over quantity in this one. I mean, Smallest Weird Number is a lot shorter, but that's a that's an iconic BOC track, you gotta admit. Um, then Tears from the Compound Eye versus Pete Standing Alone. That was pretty easy, Pete Standing Alone. Um, okay, then after that, uh, Transmissiones Ferox and six, ti six Times versus Dave and Cowboy. And I gotta give it to Dave and Cowboy. The, that is such a freaking great song. Such a freaking great song. And... Okay, I saw drones versus the color of the fire. Um, both really short interludes. One from Geo Getty, one from Music Has the Right. I mean, given which bracket we're in right now, <laughs> I gotta give it to the color of the fire. That's... That is, like, one of those interludes, like, you can just play inter anywhere and, like, oh, I know what that one is. I saw drones. I couldn't. Like, is not nearly as easily recognizable to me. Uh, Color of the fire. I I know exactly what that one sounds like at any given point. I yeah. Um. So then, Macquarie Ridge versus one very important thought. Macquarie Ridge definitely one very important thought is probably my least favorite. For music has the right. I don't think that music has the right is the correct album to be complaining about censorship. Just saying. Um, 
Like, even though, oh, it came from some uh, porn tape, some people have said in defense of this track. I don't really care where it came from. In context, it just doesn't really make all that much sense, I'm just saying. Um, whatever. Macquarie Ridge is a good track. Uh... Oh, what's that one? Um, from one source, all things depend. Versus Reach for the Dead. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Reach for the Dead on this one. From one source, all things depend. I do not listen to that one very often. It's it's a, just a bonus track, and not nearly as interesting a one as Macquarie Ridge. <laughs> So yeah, I gotta go for Reach for the Dead on that one. That's a that's a like a much more climactic track, in my opinion. And then Bokuma and Roy G. Biv versus Split Your Infinities. Gotta give it to Bokuma and Roy G. Biv. Split Your Infinities, that's a nice track, it's a nice spacey track, but freaking Roy G. Biv, dude. Freaking Roy G. Biv. And then a moment of clarity versus 1969. Freaking 1969, dude. Freaking 1969. In the freaking sunshine. Although not a freaking follower of. <laughs> All right, so finishing up this bracket. Uh, Pete standing alone beats small weird number. Um, Dave and Cowboy beats Color of the Fire. Um. Reach for the Dead beats Macquarie Ridge. I, I listen to those back to back, and I'm like, no, I, I'm really feeling Reach for the Dead today. That's that was that's a cool track. And of course, uh, one of the most painful choices right down here: Bokuma and Reiki Biv versus 1969. And a difficult one too. I mean, if it were just Roy G. Biv, that'd be one thing. But it's Bokuma and Roy G. Biv. Because th this is actually the one example I had in mind when I said they'll uh, put one track together that I really like with another track that I am not super into. Because I think Bokuma is okay. I'm not, it's not one of my huge favorites from music as the right. And Roy G. Biv, as some people remember, was number one on my BOC top 10 list. Love the shit out of Reiki Biv, but both of them together, you got one half that's okay and another half that's fantastic. 1969 is all fantastic though. So I gave it to 1969. That, that wouldn't, I don't think the, that's kind of interesting. That wouldn't that would have been different if it were just Roy G. Biv. But both of them together, like mm, is a close one, obviously, but gotta edge it out to 1969. 1960 it's not like Roy G. Biv is losing out to like one of their <laughs> weaker tracks or anything. It's gonna take one hell of a track to beat Roy G. Biv for me. And 1969 is just that kind of track. That is just a fantastic freaking track. Um, so finishing up the brackets real quick. Dave and Cowboy beats Peace Standing Alone. 1969 beats Reach for the Dead. And 1969 just wins everything. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. So now for the bottom right bracket, the testing one, two, three bracket. We are now into, uh, bracket names that do not directly quote BOC. So here we go. Uh, Sunshine Recorder versus Oscar See Through Red Eye. That was a tough one. I, I listened to those back to back a couple of times. Just going back and forth. I could honestly go either way with this one. Um, I ended up going with the more obvious choice with Sunshine Recorder, but that's a, that's a close one. Oscar See Through Red Eye is a really underrated track. Um, then Sundown versus You Could Feel the Sky. That's pretty obvious. You Could Feel the Sky, definitely. Um, yeah. Interlude from Tomorrow's Harvest versus 
awesome track from GeoGetty. I wonder what's gonna win in that one. Okay, so Open the Light versus Constants are changing. We've gotta go to Open the Light for that one. Constants are changing. Campfire Head Phase Interlude. Um, okay. By the way, I just... I forgot to mention, this bracket also does not have anything from the EPs or any of the... There's no everything you do is a balloon ready to knock everything out or 747. So, whatever. I would have... That probably would have been more interesting than having stuff like Constance or Changing or at Ataran Cronon or some of these less interesting uh, Tomorrow's Harvest uh, interludes, but whatever. Nitpicky, nitpicky, nitpicky. Um, anyway, we got two short interlude tracks here now. Triangles and Rhombuses versus Energy Warning. Gotta go with Triangles and Rhombuses. Um, uh, just a little iconic track there. Love me some music has the right. So then, after that, Nothing is Real versus Ataran Cronon. Nothing is Real, definitely. Nothing is Real is my favorite track from Tomorrow's Harvest, probably. That that track is great. Do 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 do. It's one of the only tracks from Tomorrow's Harvest that like the the melody sticks in my head, and it's like stuck around after the review. So I gotta give it to that one. That's... Mm. And speaking of tracks, really good tracks from uh, Tomorrow's Harvest, Aquarius versus New Seeds. That's not fair to New Seeds. Going against freaking Aquarius. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go with a predictable choice on that one, but... Uh, yeah, New Seeds is a really good track, too. That one deserves better. Um, an 84 Pontiac Dream versus Dandelion. Gotta go 84 Pontiac Dream. That's a beautiful track. One of the better ones from uh, Campfire Head Phase. And then finally, uh, Dawn Chorus versus Turquoise Hexagon Sun. Or Turquoise Hexagonal Sun. It's, there's no hexagon. Oh, bleh. get it right, bitch. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, Turquoise Hexagon Sun wins this one for me. It's, it, Dawn Course is cool. Um, but Turquoise Hexagon Sun, that, that tracks probably means a lot more to me personally. So, yeah. Okay, let's finish up this bracket. Um... So, uh, you could feel the sky over Sunshine Recorder. Um, you could feel the sky is excellent production. I did not give that track enough credits. That track is freaking amazing. Um, Open the Light wins over Triangles and Rhombuses. Um, yeah, just gonna go for the longer one, obviously. Uh, Nothing is Real versus Aquarius. Ooh. This is... Mm. That's a tough one. I mean, Nothing Is Real is my favorite track from Tomorrow's Harvest, but Aquarius is... is Aquarius. So... I had to go with Aquarius, but Nothing Is Real deserved better. <laughs> um, and then Turquoise Hexagon Sun also wins over 84 Pontiac Dream. Another really close one, but... Gotta go for the nostalgia pick on that one. And moving on from there, uh, You Could Feel the Sky wins over Open the Light. Um, and Aquarius wins over Turquoise Hexagon Sun. And to win the whole bracket... Ah, uh, this was really close. It was really close. I actually went with You Can Feel the Sky. I don't think I'm breaking any new ground by saying that I love Aquarius. But uh, You Could Feel the Sky, I think. That's a, that's a pretty underrated track, and I'm just feeling that one more today, I guess. Obviously, a really close one, but decided to go against the grain today. Like, ooh, going against the grain. So let's finish up with the Just Relax bracket. 
Um, another thing that has never been said in a Boards of Canada track, as far to my knowledge. Um, okay, so wildlife analysis and an eagle in your mind versus come to dust. Come to dust, another good track from Tomorrow's Harvest that probably deserved better, but against the first two tracks for music as the right, that's... Mm, gotta go with. Uh, Eagle in Your Mind and Wildlife Analysis. Beginning of my favorite BOC album. Gotta go with that. Uh, Julian Candy versus Slow This Bird Down. Julian Candy, hands down. Uh, Jack Cord Causeway versus Into the Rainbow Vein and Chroma Key Dreamcoat. Gotta give that one to uh, Chroma Key Dreamcoat. Um, Jack Cord Causeway is another one of the better ones from. Uh, Tomorrow's Harvest, but not super high tier. And Chroma Key Dreamcoat's one of the best ones from uh, Campfire Red Face, so yeah. And we got two more interlude tracks. Uh, Kiny Industries versus Over the Horizon Radar. Kiny Industries... That's another track that everyone was like, why don't you like this track more than the uh, other ones? Because we take our we take our less than a minute long interludes very seriously. We take them very seriously. <laughs> um, but I listen to them both, and I have to go with Over the Horizon Radar in this one, just to such a more peaceful sounding track. And that's that's just a really nice little interlude there. And Over the Horizon Radar is a thumb, very nice. And uh, Alpha and Omega versus Smoke's Quantity. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Alpha and Omega on that one. Smoke's Quantity is good, but it's not Alpha and Omega level good. Then, ooh, this is interesting. The Beach at Red Point and Opening the Mouth versus U Ritual. U Ritual by itself? I don't think there's enough to that track to justify going against two at once. Yeah, to beat uh, beat at red point versus uh, and opening the mouth wins over Hewitchroll. Then Semena Merk versus Olsen. I went with the former. More to that track, better atmosphere in my opinion. Olsen is a pretty good little interlude for music has the right though. Um. And then Satellite Anthem Anthem Icarus versus uh. What is the Beware the Friendly Stranger and Gyroscope? Gyroscope is one of my least favorite uh, longer tracks from GeoGaddy. And Satellite and the Minkress is the best. So <laughs> I'm going to give that one to Satellite and the Minkress. Love that one. And uh, let's uh, complete this bracket then. Um, so Julian Candy wins over, uh, Wildlife Analysis and Eagle in Your Mind. That's a close one, but gotta go with, uh, the more obvious pick for that one. Um, Chroma Key Dreamcoat wins over Over the Horizon Radar, pretty obvious for me there. And it's a longer track versus shorter track. Um, oh, this is interesting. Um... Alpha and Omega versus Beach at Red Point and Opening the Mouth. I actually went with the latter. Because, see, Beach at Red Point could not beat Alpha and Omega. Opening the Mouth could not beat Alpha and Omega. Both of them together, though. Yeah. Yeah. I would say both of them together. Opening the Mouth is one of the best interludes from GeoGaddy. And Beach at Red Point is also a super underrated track from that album as well, so we'll give it to the less obvious one. Um, and Satellite Anthem Icarus wins over Semina Mercadivitivitivit. Okay, so, um, Julian Candy versus Chroma Key Dreamcoat. Gonna have to go with Julian Candy. Uh, Chroma Key Dreamcoat is really good, but... Julian Candy is just a long-time favorite of mine. And, um... Ooh, this was a tough one. Beach at Red Point and Opening Mouth versus Satellite Anthem Icarus. I mean, those two tracks are really fantastic together. 
but I still had to give it to Satellite Anthem Icarus. Just by a little bit. That that is that is one of my favorite tracks from Campfire Head Phase. That love that track so much. And for the whole bracket, I could go either way with this one too. Between Julian Candy and Satellite Anthem Icarus. Those are two tracks approximately about equal level with me. But uh, I ended up going Julian Candy on this one. Just feeling that one more, I guess. I think I picked that one higher for the top ten list as well. Um, so yeah. So that leaves us at the final four. Uh, so yeah, we got Happy Cycling, 1969, You Could Feel the Sky, and Julian Candy. This is going to be a tough one. Okay. So, uh, let's start with Happy Cycling versus 1969. Hmm. Hmm. That is so close. It's so close. I'm going to have to give it to Happy Cycling, though. I'm just feeling that one more today, I think. 1969's catch year. Happy cycling, though. That one has grown on me a ton. That that track would probably rank even higher if um, I were to make my top ten list now, because at the time, I, I hadn't known happy cycling for that long, so it was ranked fairly low. But if I were to make that list now, it'd probably be much higher. Half B cycling is excellent. And then Julie and Candy versus You Could Feel the Sky. Oh my god, this is this is impossible. <laughs> um yeah, You Could Feel the Sky has much better production. It's just this the sonic texture and everything is better. But Julie and Candy, the melodies are better. It's much more memorable. They're, they are like, ah, uh, I can't decide. But I guess then I thought, are either of these capable of beating Happy Cycling? And in the end, no. Happy Cycling wins everything. I decided not to pick between Julian Candy and You Can Feel the Sky because I'm lazy. <laughs> and Happy Cycling is just going to win. So yeah, Happy Cycling is the winner of the Boards of Canada Madness bracket. That was that was fun. I'm done with these bracket things for a while. Uh, maybe I'm just going to focus on the reviews for now. I mean... This is a lot of stuff getting taken off my phone, and it's a bit of a pain in the butt because my, my phone ran out of memory while recording this. That was not fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, so well, I guess I'll leave it at that. Happy Cycling is an excellent track, but of course, it's just my opinion. You can feel free to disagree with it, but like to your thoughts, so leave the comments in the comment thing down there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's all for today. See you next time.